it's slow killer. Um, I made a video yesterday. I'm not sure. The quality was pretty weak on it. So I decided I'd do one full screen. Hopefully it'll look a little bit better, at least for uh, as far as going over my stats and stuff. Um, yeah, get that. Um, I guess first, talk about what's the most important stats. Uh, it seems like there's a little bit of uh, misunderstanding or misinformation out there on what's the most important stats for monks and you know you get everybody out there and you know DPS is nice and everything but it's certainly not what monks were meant for say the majority of uh, monks out there are trying to tank I mean nobody really expects them to do that much damage at least it's not as important but as far as going solo I mean obviously it helps but really the most important thing is to stay alive so that being said, this weapon does do a lot of damage, but it has a lot of important other stats, which I think are more, are way more important than the dexterity or the damage. Um, I mean, obviously, I sacrificed a little bit of life on hit. I mean, I could have gotten a more, much more life on hit for the same price, but um, I don't really die very much, so everything's a give and take in this game so really you can't you can't have it all unless you're a billionaire so um, with that being said 2.5 percent of damage dealt converted to life is pretty good uh, I mean whenever you you hit bosses you'll see that you hit them for less so sometimes it's better to have just life on hit sometimes damage dealt to life is better I mean it's really uh, it really just depends on how much damage you do uh, for me I think damage dealt to life is uh, a little bit better and a very important stat which I think people are starting to figure out a little bit is this life per spirit spent I mean to me it's the most important stat on staying alive if you can keep hitting people and keep regenerating mana this life per spirit spent will just keep your health up the entire time I mean I'll, it, you'll see I'll try to do find a mob here at the end of this video and I mean, you'll see how much my life fluctuates just based on, I mean, I'll just regenerate based on this, just this mantra of evasion spell, I'll spawn, I'll spam it a lot, so, uh, really, I mean, everybody pretty much knows what all the skills are, but I'll just run through the rest of my items, I didn't really do a good job at that yesterday, I mean, I didn't even really go over my boots or my amulet, bracers, or gloves, or anything, belt, so... Let's go through those real fast. I mean, basically, they're all the same. I mean, I go dexterity. There's not really a lot of, you know, can't really find anything else like life or spirit spin or any of that stuff on boots. So um, I just wanted this pretty high dexterity, you know, a little bit of vitality in there. And then arcane is the same thing with uh, the one with everything. So arcane and resist all add up. So essentially, it's uh, whatever, one, 126. Uh, 116 uh, resist all uh, these I went over a little bit yesterday but uh, magic finds nice it's not really why I have them I mean if magic find really doesn't mean much to me since I have all this other gear here is all magic find gear so I'll switch it all out anyway um, I use this because I, I like the set I like the sockets, you know, I mean, that's a lot of dexterity to about 248 or however much that is, 245 or whatever. Uh, dexterity is pretty solid, um, you know, but again, it's, I'm not really practicing what I'm preaching here. I don't, I don't really die that much, so I don't, it's not really as important that I get more armor and more resistance, which in my opinion are much more important. But dexterity is nice, I mean, you gotta hit hard, and dexterity also makes you evade more, and makes you have more armor if you have a bunch and you use um, the seize the initiative spell so uh, anyway so gloves you know a little bit of attack speed I like attack speed a lot pretty high dexterity uh, you know resist all arcane a little bit of life I mean same same thing for all my gear really I mean I'm not I'm pretty consistent across the bracers the boots um, the belt and uh, the gloves, so they're pretty much all the same, except these have a little bit of attack speed on them. Uh, as far as the amulet goes, uh, show you that. And as far as the amulet goes, um, and a little bit of crit hit, it's just nice because I really like 
at least a little bit of crit hit chance. So whenever you use sweeping wind, you can actually get up to max vortex speed. I'll talk about that here in a second. But a little bit is nice. I have a armor. I, I, I really try to stack armor as much as possible. It's hard for a monk with two hand weapons to get a lot of armor, so uh, especially without sacrificing a bunch of dexterity and stuff. So uh, I'll probably get a new amulet soon. I was actually looking at early today. It seemed a little bit overpriced, but soon enough I'll get one. Uh, this helmet's pretty okay. It's got dexterity. Uh, 42 arcane, which is essentially my resist all, a little bit of attack speed, a little bit of life, and then I really like the life or spirit spent. So I mean, overall, all in all, it's pretty pretty solid. It's got a little bit of everything. Belts are damn expensive right now, so uh, really, that this belt's like 10 million. It doesn't really doesn't look like it, but it's pretty expensive. So anyway, so I'll talk a little bit about my skills. Uh, deadly reach. I, I mean. Can't, it's this, or I mean, some people use Fist of Thunder, and they'll use, uh, what's it called? The Lightning Flash, I think. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's near as effective as keeping your armor up 50%. I mean, that's it's so huge to do that. Um, Blinding Flash, another, I mean, all these spells, I think, I've, done, I've played with them enough. I've tried everything. I think that these are the best ones. Blinding Flash... Um, I mean, the rune is pretty solid. You basically increase your damage by an extra 30% for 3 seconds. And if you cast a spell, it regenerates every 15 seconds. So, essentially, one-fifth of the time, you're attacking at 30% extra damage, and everybody's blind. And, I mean, that's how you stay alive, is you just have to keep cycling through all of your blinding flash, your breath of heaven, your serenity spell, and just keep the cooldowns on them active whenever possible, and it's kind of you have to work them in. Breath of heaven uh, increases your damage uh, by 15% for 45 seconds with a rune, and that's I mean essentially that's all the time. I mean I n I try to always have it up. That's just 15% extra damage, as well as a nice healing spell. And with life or spirit spent, it really heals you for a lot. I mean, it's 25 spirit. Say I do a little like 160 life or spirit spent with all my stuff. I mean, that's whatever, like uh, about 4,000 uh, additional life that I get. So it's pretty solid. And this serenity, I mean, you're attacking the whole time. During the three seconds you're invincible, you get I get about 10,000 life. And then I get an additional about 10,000 life during the three seconds when I'm attacking at full speed, as well as pretty much fill up my spirit all the way. Sweeping Wind, uh, another spell. It's, some people don't. I don't think that some people really appreciate how good Inner Storm is. Uh, I mean, if you're alive for, I mean, let's say you battle for, I mean, three minutes, a little bit over three minutes, about 200 seconds. I mean, that's 600 spirit. It will fill your spirit bar four times. And I mean that's a lot of life you can convert that to if you're playing if you're playing the life for spirit game, which I would really recommend. Mantra of Evasion. I mean it's this one, or you can go with um, the healing spell with the resistance. Um, also a pretty good choice, but I think this one's a little bit better. I did a little, I did some calculations, and I mean I'm pretty nerdy, but uh, it seems that with the dodge percent chance and um, increase your armor by 20% it outweighs it uh, pretty substantially well, with resistance but I mean it also depends on if you know if you're really high up on your armor and you don't have very much resistance and maybe um, the healing spell with the resistance uh, rune would be a little bit better for you but not for me so trans uh, transcendence transcendence uh, every point I mean that's just additional uh, life or spirit spent. I mean, it's, you know, there's a this is the one that I'd really you can really change out for whatever you think. Resolve is a good one. Pretty pretty overrated. I mean, pretty underrated in my opinion. Um, I mean, some people use near death experience. I don't know about that one though. It's I mean, that's nice, but the cooldown for 90 seconds is kind of crappy. And whenever you seem to die at 35, or once you die once, you seem to just going to die at 35 percent more life anyway most of the time. It seems like. So I, I think this will save your life more often, but it's just my opinion on that. Uh, Beacon of the Year is actually pretty nice too. It reduces all your cooldowns by 15% for Monk. I mean, you were using our cooldowns pretty much constantly. So 
I'm going to pause this video for a second and we'll do and I'll try to find a run here. Hopefully I can do it pretty quick. So I'm just going to pause it just for a second. I'll redo it here in the same spot.